<clears throat> let's chat about pre-viable, pre premature ruptured membranes. Pre-viable means uh, at less than 20 weeks of pregnancy. Premature means before the onset of labor. When someone has pre-viable, premature ruptured membranes, um, that is not a good um, sign because the likelihood that someone at less than 20 weeks who has ruptured the back of water, uh, the likelihood that they get to a viable fetus, which is typically beyond 24 weeks of gestation, is very slim. And if they do get beyond 24 weeks, um, the chances of having an intact um, baby to take home, what we refer to as intact baby, meaning neurologically intact and otherwise, uh, varies uh, depending on a lot of different factors. So when someone comes in with pre viable premature rupture membranes, um, the options should be that they can try to uh, stay pregnant as long as they're not showing any signs of infection. And that's the choice of the pregnant individual, whether or not they want to see if they can get to viability, which is like I said, beyond 24 weeks. The other option should be um, to have an induction uh, abortion to uh, end the pregnancy. However, in states where there are abortion bans and abortion restrictions, that's not an option, as long as there's a fetal heartbeat. With that option being taken off the table, there's a very high likelihood that the patient can get infected. Uh, and sometimes the infection comes on very quickly and they can even get septic and go into septic shock and have something called an, a septic abortion. And that is life-threatening. And it's always a worry or a potential consequence of pre-viable premature ruptured membranes. We have had several patients in the state of Texas where I work that had this happen. And because they have no signs of an infection, um, they just have to sit and wait it out as long as there's a heartbeat. And a lot of these patients come in floridly infected, some of them septic, and some of them very, very sick. Unfortunately, a lot of times that's the, the outcome and the consequence, which can have consequences for their future health and their future fertility. And that's because the option of ending the pregnancy in order to prevent something like that from happening is not an option in states like Texas. Why am I making this video? I'm making this video because abortion care is health care, period. And I firmly believe that patients should have the option um, to either continue the pregnancy if that's what they choose or to end the pregnancy if that's what they choose in order to prevent uh, infection, sepsis, and potential se septic shock and the consequences that it, that it can have on their future health. But that's not an option I can give them. Politics and politicians have no business or no role in my relationship with my patient and my ability to care for them.